What is up guys? Thank you so so much for tuning into the video today and visiting my channel. I really really appreciate it. Um, today I wanted to do a little talking segment before I get to the workout footage. And I want to start out the video by talking about how to start living the life that you want. Something that I've really really learned recently and I'm starting to really dive into is that in order to live the life that you like dream of and that you really want to live, it's possible 100% possible it's just dedicating yourself and putting in the work so I wanted to talk about that a little bit just before um, I show you my workout um, I did a cool edit for today and I'm very proud of myself um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about that because y'all know I'm super big on the healthy happy lifestyle the big thing that kind of started this um, in my head was that you know I'm really working on myself right now and I'm really really dedicated to just making the best life that I possibly can and being the best version of myself that I possibly can. And I listen to a whole bunch of podcasts just like when I'm driving and getting ready, stuff like that. And it seems like every single podcast for like the past week is about this topic and just like really like dedication to your craft or you know diving being in the master of your craft or having just dedication in general um like when you don't feel like doing things stuff like that so it's like i feel like i need to talk about it because it's been like all in my head this past week i think the biggest thing that has kind of like stuck out to me this week is that you're never going to have the life that you want if you don't start and it's it sounds so simple and it's we overcomplicate things all the time especially me but um you just have to start and starting can be as simple as writing down your action plan or just organizing your life or you know whatever um i recently actually just quit my part-time job because i realized hey this isn't really serving me at all it's not getting me to where i ultimately want to be um, it's just giving me a little bit of extra cash, but it's really not serving me in any way and I hated my job So I quit it's a starting point and you know not everybody can quit their jobs that they hate <laughs> because you have to pay the bills but you know maybe like trying to figure out like writing down an action plan like what are the goals what is the ultimate end like what do you want to be doing write it all down and start making an action plan simple small steps leads to huge action so my number one tip is just to start these small little steps these small little changes that you have to make in order to get that end goal they are so scary and will terrify you but ultimately those little small tiny changes that are really scary are going to help lead you to where you ultimately want to be so that kind of leads me into my next point something i've been talking about a lot recently on my social media is that you have to start doing the hard things and just doing the things <laughs> by this i mean that every single person has the things that they struggle with and you know everybody has their struggles everybody has their strong points and for me specifically my one of my struggles is with my eating disorder behaviors and so I, in order to recover and live the healthy, happy lifestyle that I want to be living, I have to do the hard things. I have to put in the work and work on those behaviors and work on my mindset in order to live that life that I want to live, that end goal. So I guess the main point here is just you have to make the action plan and you have to start making those small little changes and those are going to be the hard things but it's going to ultimately lead you to where you want to be so doing the hard things is where the work is but but nothing worth having is done without work so you have to put in that work and those challenging things those things you kind of don't want to do that make you feel uncomfortable those are the things that you have to do to ultimately lead you to where you want to be Something that I'm really, really working on and that I'm trying to get so much better on is following my gut. And whenever I talk about like following my gut to me personally because of my beliefs and morals and everything like that, that means that I'm following God. That I'm listening to God and his like direction for me. So um, I just, I interchange like gut and God. It's the same thing to me. Um, for you, it might be trusting the universe or trusting whoever or just maybe yourself but following that 
gut feeling or to me the God feeling that is 100% so important and most of the time your gut is always telling you the right thing following your gut and like listening to what's going on that is like major key because your gut is always right God is always right whatever you want to call it following that listening to that is huge last thing I want to talk about here is that in order to ultimately get to that life that you want to live that life that you dream of that you wish you could have you have to start acting like you already have it and it sounds so silly and you know a lot of you have probably heard it through the law of attraction type of thing and that i totally believe in it um i believe that if you start putting out that energy and putting out the you know even just the thought that oh i already have this and that that automatically just makes you feel more confident it makes you more positive obviously you're going to question yourself a ton but having just kind of like reminding yourself I, I got this like oh it's already here for me and like let's say you want a certain amount of money or something like that act like you already have the money act like you can go out and do whatever like obviously you wouldn't want to like go out and buy it like a new car or go like extreme shopping or anything but like pretend like not pretending, but really believing that you already have that money, it's gonna make the money come to you more. And how I believe in this, just because of my beliefs, is that if you're putting out that energy and you're asking it from God, he's gonna bring it more towards you because you're putting your faith in him. But a lot of people think of it as like, if you put it out into the universe, the universe is gonna give it back to you. And some people believe in the universe, some people believe in God, whatever it is that you believe in, you're putting that energy out and then you're already believing it yourself, it's gonna be much more likely to come to you if you already believe that you have it and you have that confidence, you have the mindset, it's gonna bring you more creativity, positivity, it's just gonna make you more productive and happier and everything it's going to make your goals come a lot faster if you already believe in it so i know that was a bit random but i just kind of wanted to talk about it because i see so many people having these big dreams and these big goals and i want them to achieve them but it can be so hard because in this world we live in there's so many distractions and it's really hard to reach those goals but i promise you no matter how unrealistic they may seem they are possible all it really takes is dedication and commitment and belief and trust and all of that i it's a lot of work it really is but it will ultimately help you get to that end goal that you do have um so do not listen to anyone else saying that your dreams are unrealistic, that your goals are unrealistic. I promise you they are realistic. It's gonna take 110 times more work than you think, but it is realistic and you can achieve those goals. You just have to keep deciding every single day that you are going to get to where you want to be. I hope that that was helpful. I hope you all kind of enjoyed my little rambling there. Um, but now we're gonna go into the workout that I had for today. I did back and biceps. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that workout in three, two. Love you. 